Where I think phosphatidylserine is particularly beneficial is, uh, you might say, as a brain adaptogen for those who are under a great deal of stress. In this study, what they did was they, um, they pre-screened uh, the study subjects and categorized them as either being low in neuroticism or very high in neuroticism. I'm not sure how you would tell someone that they were high in neuroticism. That means you're neurotic, right? I don't want to be told I'm neurotic, but I guess um, they had to divide people up and they found that in this test, they, what they did was they tested people before and after a very stressful um, test that they, they had them go through all these really hard math problems and kind of put them on the spot, made them feel awkward and embarrassed. And uh, here's before and after the test. The lower the curve, the more stressed out they are. So you can see in the low neuroticism people, the people um, that were on PS fared about the same at the end. They were about as stressed as the people that were on placebo. Those with high neuroticism, the PS was highly protective in preventing them from getting stressed out. So it had a, a very significant anxiolytic effect in that sense. Here is uh, the same subjects instead looking at their mood. Those with low neuroticism, um, their mood was relatively unchanged by the stressful event. They were fairly uh, positive, uh, upbeat people, I guess. Those with high neuroticism on the placebo, by the end of the test, they were ready to bite your head off. <laughs> really, really miserable. Whereas the PS group was totally unchanged. It was uh, entirely protective of the mood, which is very interesting. You know, when you, when you see someone who's under stress and they just blow up, there's somebody who really needs PS. And um, <clears throat> this is you know, really strong evidence of its uh, effects as a, um, a brain adaptogen. 